We're gonna use some of our exponent rules. And the first exponent rule we're going to use is when you have like bases, you add the exponents. I have y and I have y, I have like bases, so I'm gonna add the exponents, negative two plus nine. So if I add negative two and nine, that makes seven. So now I have y to the seventh power. We have a positive exponent, so this one's done. Okay, this next one, we have like bases, so I'm gonna add the exponents. So two plus a negative seven, and if I take two plus a negative seven, I get negative five. So this becomes u to the negative five. I don't want an answer that has a negative exponent. So we've learned that you can cross the fraction bar line to change the sign on the exponent. The fraction bar line is underneath here. So I'm gonna move the use to the denominator and that will change the exponent to a positive five. So I end up with one over u to the fifth. We move them to the bottom and it changed the sign. Okay, this one here, I have like bases, so I'm gonna add exponents. I don't see an exponent on v, so I have to know that that is to the first power. I want to add 4, negative 9, and 1. So adding 4, negative 9, and 1, 4 plus a negative 9 is negative 5, and negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. We now have v to the negative 4. Our final answer cannot have negative exponents. So to make that 4 a positive exponent, we're gonna take the V's and cross the line to change the sign. We're gonna move the V's to the denominator and that'll change that sign. So this is going to be one over V to the fourth. Okay, last example, we have like bases. So I'm gonna add exponents. I wanna take negative two plus six plus negative five. If I add these, Negative two plus six is four, and four plus a negative five is negative one. So this becomes x to the negative one. Our last step, we don't want a negative exponent, so we're gonna cross the fraction bar line, so the x's go to the denominator, and that will change the sign of the exponent. So I have one over x to the first, but anything to the first power is itself, so I end up with one over x.